now the big match. The championship match on the professional bowlers tour between the man in the striped shirt, Earl Anthony, 36 titles, shaking the hand of Dave Sutar, who has won 17. These are two greats. Sutar, 41 years old, Anthony, 43. And Sutar will shoot first. Sutar defeating Ted Hannes, 209 to 198. Sutar winning over Jeff Moran. Moran winning over Marshall Holman in our first game here. So let's watch. All right. One of the things that makes Sutar so great is he is a match game, game player, Chris. He learned to bowl in the late 50s and early 60s when they bowled a lot of match games on a pair of lanes, such as he's doing today. He doesn't have to move, and once he gets zeroed, he very seldom loses a pair. That makes him very tough. Two pros in the finals that believe the 49ers will win tomorrow. Oh, the 7-10, which was once converted in this house. On this very same lane by Mark Roth. Earl Anthony, we said, Chris, you asked why he uses a little more practice time. He needs to get his speed up. This pair of lanes is fairly dry, and he didn't throw it hard enough. That's all there is to it. And the pro that he is took very little time, knew that he would just go for the 10 pin and got it over with. He's thinking now, trying to wipe out that disastrous shot, and he'll be shooting on the left lane from the left side. Changing, it, changing balls, Chris, excuse mm -hmm. me, to a ball that's harder and doesn't hook as much. That's a brave move to make. Even though he had a split, uh, he used a uh, soft rubber ball in the first shot for Anthony and switched to the plastic. And Dave Sutar using one of the newer contemporary balls on the market, the urethane ball. The urethane ball goes a little farther down the lane then breaks fairly sharp at the back end. Oh, terrible high hit, leaving the 6, 7, 9, 10. But he got a great break with a two-pin taking out the four and avoiding that same disastrous split he had in the previous match. The uh, four, uh, six, seven, nine, ten, Chris, is much easier with the four-pin gone because you can hit the six-pin, drive it into the nine, and have it slide over into the seven. veteran professionals now have open frames in our championship final. Watch the footwork. Four-step delivery, every step a little longer than the next, a little more momentum. Sutar, ideal style, cross lane, just slides by the six, trying to slide it over into the seven. It's open the door for Anthony. Sutar trails by five. It's very early in the match. Third frame, left lane. in the pocket. Anthony is up. Earl takes very little time. Well, he always told me, if you don't know what you want to do, but by the time you get up there, uh, you're not going to figure it up and figure it out in a few extra seconds. Once he sets his feet, look at him, look down at his position on the approach, picks his target up with his eyes. He knows what he wants to do. He just goes. I like his philosophy. shooter. You look at Earl Anthony and you make a Carson with golfer Jack Nicholas. Familiar Just, profile. Mm. Picture speaks for itself. An ideal shot. Completely under control. Completely confident. That's the important thing. You see he didn't panic and try to stuff the next shot. He just stroked it in there. Let the ball do the work in the third frame. And the man that Oh, there's Susie, Anthony, Earl's wife, and his son Mike is to her left in that striped shirt. Oh, he liked that. He liked that. So did the Anthony family. Three in a row. We're going to leave live action because we're running late. And we'll bring you up to date. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. If it wasn't for Christian Formula, they'd soon be calling me a gray-haired ball player. 
that gray hair is not for Pete Rose. So I started using Grecian formula. Grecian formula. It does away with as much gray as you want, some of it or all of it. And the change is so gradual and so natural looking, no one notices. If I had gray hair like this, my teammates would laugh and call me Old Man River. Hey, listen, if the gray-haired league's not for you, get Grecian formula. State Farm teamwork, it takes the hassle out of claims. And like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. All right, while we were away, in the fourth frame, Dave Sutar had a strike to double. Now here in the fifth frame, first ball, leaving the 3-6 in a hectic final match. Earl Anthony and Dave Sutar. fifth frame and now Earl Anthony is up and he has a three-bagger shooting in the fifth frame at an open frame in the first if he can hit the right hand lane that's the lane that's given everyone trouble if Sutar got an open in the second frame you saw Earl get the 710 split in the first frame but he adjusted in the third and it's got three in a row 17 pin lead can extend to 27 thought about retiring Earl Anthony put together four my goal is to make a million dollars before anybody else but when that happens I plan to cut back to maybe 20 events for the next four years I have some nagging injuries that are bothering me quite a bit I'm not really enjoying the traveling that much I want to go home and relax Chris he's had trouble with his knee uh, as a young baseball player he had a little trouble with his back last year and he wants to get to the million and then take off And there it is, the 4 6 7 10. 4 6 7 10, wide open when he had the match well in hand. Once again, he gets a disastrous split. He can only go for two of them to keep the match close. Amazing today how many times we've seen. Uh, there's the odds, 2001. It's made every once in a while. It's amazing how a player, when he gets a big lead, all of a sudden has a disastrous shot come through and tighten the match up. put a little hope into that one. <laughs> 121 through the sixth for Earl Anthony. Now with the spare up, it's Dave Sutar in blue shooting in the sixth frame. Match play competition. These players don't really care what the final score is as long as they're on the winning end. <laughs> Leaving a 10 pin. Sutar Close really match really wanted that one. The tough right-hand lane made a sensational shot, delayed the hook, got the sharp break at the back end, but left a solid 10. Sutar, an excellent spare shooter. Very seldom gives his opponent any margin for error. And methodically covers the 10 pen. His spare and... Dave Sutar is trailing by 10. Coming up next, Wide World of Sports, World Women's Gymnastics Championships from Moscow. Howard Cosell, live interview with Reggie Jackson. We see World Cup Women's Skiing from Austria. Jim McKay interviewing Bella Caroli, former Romanian gymnastic coach who defected to this country. Our match right now has been a long day so far for both these players. Tra Sutar trails by 10. Here's the winner of two matches earlier here in order to get to the finals. So three spares in a row for Sutar, four strikes in a row for Anthony until the sixth frame when he had an open. He's leading by 12, now shooting in the seventh frame. Six pen on the right line. From that shot, you can see how sharp the ball breaks at the at the back end. The ball looks like it's an apparent good hit right in the one-two pocket for Earl. You can see his line just to the left of the third arrow, about the 13th board. Now, ball looks solid in the pocket, and lo and behold, a six-pin. That's that sharp break. You can see it right there. Excellent shot. <laughs> 